So welcome back everybody. This is an update on my Quenum Trifecta build. As you can see I have put it together now and I will simply show you uh, some of its features. Uh, I'm using the 7 inch propellers on it. Actually 7 inch with a pitch of 3.8. Uh, and this is absolutely no problem as you can see, so they can turn freely. In fact, even these 8 inch propellers would work. So you can see it here. It's okay, they can swing freely here of course as well. And also here, so that works. You can see it. Uh, I will. I wanted to use the 8 inch propellers because that will give me even more flight time but actually compared to the 7 inch propellers their hub is too tall, too thick so I couldn't fasten them. I have some other 8 inch propellers in the mail and I will try it with them. Uh, the motors are as the, the, the DUS BE 1806 motors with 1400 kV. They will work fine with both the 7 inch propellers and the 8 inch propellers uh, using the, this 3 cell LiPo as long as you don't push them. So I'm really looking forward to the 8 inch propellers. What else can we see here? I'm using a very cheap flight controller. That's the CC3D Atom, which is currently available for I think 12 or 13 packs from Banggood. I originally wanted to use the clean flight software on it, which is of course possible, but I found out that clean flight on the CC3D, only on the CC3D, does not support tricopters yet. So I chosen OpenPilot as a software. I've never used OpenPilot before. I got into OpenPilot and actually I really like it. It's really easy to set up and well, I, I hope it will fly well with it. I didn't fly it yet, so the maiden flight will be today uh, and I will of course also uh, make a video of this. As you can see I'm using here one of these FreeSky D4R2 receivers and I have connected it to the flight controller using PPM, CPPM. Uh, there is also some, some case over this which you can use if you want to set up your uh, Quenum Drive Factor with uh, GPS for example. I will quickly go and get that case. So here is this case, you can see they, they suggest you in the manual to put it on like that, but this will then not work with the 8 inch props, as you can see, because they will be touching this. So if I would put this on, I would put it on like that, so the other way around. And this will then also work for the 8 inch props. Uh, I'm not using this cage because the flight controller is inside a box anyways and well I hopefully don't plan to crash that much. So what else can we see here? When we turn it around uh, we can see what else I used here. I'm using these cheap spider ESCs which actually can with Simon K and one shot enabled for around seven bucks from Banggood. This is really nice. Uh, and here you can see there is this uh, skits which actually you can actually uh, uh, switch over so for transportation but I will probably always leave them out and you can see here, this is how the, the battery is strapped on. So this looks like that. You can strap it on here. What I did is <coughs> for the battery wiring, I have here 
Uh, this wiring harness is below that, I won't open it because it's a mess. And I'm using actually both connectors from the battery, the main connectors to drive the motors and the balance connector to drive the flight controller and yeah, actually only the flight controller. So this is how I set this up. Uh, even here in the end there is this little screw. If you loosen it you can actually turn this little stand down. This is again for transportation. I will probably not use it. So uh, this is a, a fold able uh, a tricopter. So we have these two little things here which you can actually push down while doing it and then you can fold it up so be careful here you don't do that that often this is kind of nice and additionally you can also uh, push that in a little more so you can see it here if you push that down you can push that in a little more I won't do it because I have quite a wiring mess inside that and it would push onto my ESC. But it is quite compact and very transportable. If you, you can have to look here, these two. If you push it out again, this locks in and it won't move much. So what else do we see here? This is the, the Mobius, which I have put on. It comes with this really nice vibration dampening mount for the Mobius. So let's see how that works. I'm curious. And just a little test for you. I will just plug it in. I will start up my, my Tyrannus. Welcome to Free Sky Tyrannus. Switch warning. Yeah. So there's the trifecta. Start it up. Okay, hope you can see that. I will just hold it down. Please don't do this at home. You know. So I will first arm it. So this is all okay. As you can see, it's arming, and now it's armed. I'm holding the stone. Yeah, sorry for that. I think I was a bit too quick. As you can see, it's everything is working. Looks nice. Okay, so let's disarm this again. So yes, this is my, my build report for the trifecta. As I told you, I will have the maiden flight today and I can't wait. I'm very curious how that goes. And I will also try to give you a video of the maiden flight with my trusty Mobius cam. Cap, sorry, <laughs> Mobius cap. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a thumbs up or subscribe if you are not already subscribed. I would be very happy about that. And well, see you later.